There it is, another edition update for my Poppy Playtime map I'm creating in Minecraft. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. What the heck? A castle? A lighthouse? What is this? Hang on, is this my Five Nights at Freddy's map? Wait a minute. Since when did they go medieval? Okay, okay, yes. This is my survival world. Don't panic, I am still working on my Poppy Playtime map and Five Nights at Freddy's, so stay tuned for that. Just thought I'd showcase my actual survival world. Yes, I do have a survival world. I don't just do maps and crazy madness on Minecraft with Poppy Playtime and FNAF. I do have a survival world and this is it. It's a uh, medieval town. There's a church over here. It's actually got a big hole in the wall there because I have to transport a villager into this place here. But um, yep, this is the church. Now, as you may know, my Poppy Playtime maps and FNAF maps are quite big on a mega scale and also with the working puzzles that I do with the command blocks. So I'm just a bit behind at the moment, but things are getting done. So I hope you enjoy my survival tour in the meantime. So yeah, it is a medieval town. This is just one of many worlds, to be honest. But um, yeah, as you can see, that's my wall. I've got a fence and a door just to keep the villagers in when I do populate the place. This is the barn. You've got your pens in there. And upstairs, well, I don't know what I'm going to do up here yet. So a lot of buildings are probably still unfurnished because, well, being survival, it took a long time to build in the first place and I've yet to do that. Now this is my storage house here. Let's go have a look. This is the wall. Got some mixtures there to make it all crumbly and old. Don't worry, it's not going to fall apart. I built it. There you go. See, it's even got a garden up the top there. And there's that big castle you saw in the background. Floating in midair, but it's not going to be floating when I finish with it. Again, there's a lot of mining going into that. I haven't worked and finished on the bottom part yet. Use the storage with all my chests. There you go. Use trap doors as windows just to give it a different look. Further up the stairs here, living quarters halfway. And on the roof, there's that rooftop garden you saw before from the distance. Nice. So I hope you like it. Hopefully it gives you ideas and inspires you in your build. Let's head on back down. And what, you want to check out that castle, don't you? Well, let's make our way over there. All right, so down we go. And uh, yes, that is the storage. And uh, there's a big castle. Looks awesome, doesn't it? I hope you like the design there. Took you a while to figure out. A lot of amendments here and there. Let's head on over there. Okay, but first of all, there's a building over here, another structure. And uh, again, the insides aren't furnished yet mainly because I'm still building these mega buildings and, well, it is survival, so there's a lot of materials yet to be gathered. And it's a good spawn area. I pretty much spawned in this area on the beach back there near the lighthouse. And it's a good uh, bay ocean area because in that ocean it is a um, coral reef, so that makes it more interesting and instead of boring. It's got a nice coral reef here. And look at this building. I've got a walkway over the waterway there. It looks awesome when you come back from a long trip with a little rowboat back underneath there into the building. All right, let's head on back this way, and yes, okay, let's go check out that castle you've been waiting for. So we'll head on into that medieval castle. This place is huge. Under that town of mine over there, there's practically hollow, so I don't hope I don't create a big sinkhole because I've basically hollowed out the whole ground there of mining to build this castle, so hopefully nothing falls beneath. But there you have it, there's my big castle. Yes, once it's finished, I'll be moving in, that's for sure. Here's my throne room for the masses to gather around. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna stick with this design yet, I don't know. But um, being survival, it's hard to change things. Now up the stairs in this tower, we've got the walkway here and the lookout. Now this is a, as you can see, a Tago biome that I spawned in. It can go further up, yes, it's going up further. I've used glass here so you don't fall out walking up those stairs. And wait, yes, there's more. We can go up further. Yes, we're going up another level. This is near the top. Yes, you can see the stairs keep going. So let's keep going. First of all, I'll quickly show you the middle bit here. This is a room up here. I guess this could be the chambers of the king or the queen. And there's a bit of a lookout over here. There's a whole town down there. Let's go up those stairs again. Yep, more stairs. This is it, the final layer up the top. We're on the roof. Yes, we're the king of the world. Look at that view, awesome. Took a long time to build and it was solo. There you go, there's a view of the town. Yep, I'm really happy with this build. Yeah, the last time I worked on it was earlier in the year because I've been busy with building a lot of the uh, 
or different projects actually. If you have a look at my channel, the different videos, I've been working on quite a lot. And I've also been working on a, another channel which has been very busy at the moment, Boss Guide channel, but that's gonna be separate, totally different name. I don't wanna associate that with this exclusive Minecraft channel just yet. But there you go, I hope you enjoy my builds and I hope you enjoy my survival world. Hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to stay updated. For my existing subscribers, hey, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching.